If you want, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be the announcement of my biggest reading challenge literally ever. I am super nervous. We're going to be calling it the Read It or Unhaul It book challenge of 2023. I started doing these challenges as reading vlog in 2022. I'll link some down below if you're interested in checking it out. But at first I did it for why fantasy and sci-fi because I realized that I had a bunch that had been on my shelf for like five plus years and I never picked them up and I wasn't going to like maybe one day, but I wasn't going to. And I don't like to get rid of books without at least giving them a shot. So I made it a challenge that I was reading the first chapter of a couple of them and then picking which ones I wanted to continue and the rest, they had to go. They had to go. Some of them I got rid of after reading two pages. Because you could just tell he wasn't going to work like insta love, like page one, literally insta love. I can't do this anymore. I can't. And some of them surprised me. I ended up you know, really enjoying. So I'm glad. So I got rid of a couple books from that pile, uh, at least from my unread pile. Some of them I finished, some of them I unhauled. And I want to continue doing this. I also did it during the fall with my mystery thriller horror because I tend to get them from library a ton. And I had a bunch that had been on my shelf for years once again, didn't even know what they were about at this point. And I picked them up from the jar and I had to give them a shot. And again, some of them I finished and were great. Some of them less so, and then a couple I got rid of. Basically, I want to focus on reading some of my physical TBR that the books have been there for way too long. So I did a thing. I decided to write down every unread book on my shelf. I got this cookie jar from the dollar store, which was $4.25, by the way. How is that a dollar? And this was the biggest one that they had that was transparent. Unfortunately, as you can see, it's a little full. So, so we're going to do a little bit of reusing. What is it? Reduce, reuse, recycle. <laughs> I have this bag. Listen, I might switch up to something else later on, but this is the only thing that was transparent and big enough. So I'll probably, at least for January, move this in here to pick the books. But every month I will be doing a reading vlog focusing on this challenge. Some months it might be like just a couple days, some months it might be more than a week. It will depend on the books because I have no idea no idea what I'm going to be reading every month. So it will depend. Some of them are like a thousand pages and I will just read one. Sometimes it might be like 10 because I keep getting rid of them. And then sometimes I'm, I want to keep it, you know, pretty vague because I want to give myself the chance to not get in a re reading slump. So for example, if I pick up a book and I had been thinking about doing a specific challenge with it, I might pick one or two books to go with it for the challenge. I will still have read that one book that was from the jar, but you know, I will probably not do that very often, but I just want to give myself a little bit of leeway just in case. I did put different colors for different genre because why not? So I went with green for fantasy, uh, yellow nonfiction, red for mystery, thriller, horror, blue for sci-fi, pink is like literally everything else. So like contemporary historical fiction, romance. Did I say purple? Purple is classics. So like it's a mix. Again, it, they will be properly mixed in the bag uh, when we get to it. And frankly, doing this made me realize that there are a ton of books that I have on my shelf that I really want to read. And then there are a ton that I really don't want to read. <laughs> don't get me wrong. It's more like one day I want to pick it up, but then when you get to it, it's not right now. It's not right now. So I will be giving myself the choice to put back one book every month back in the jar. I don't think I'm going to use this, but I do want to give myself the option because let's be real. If I pick up War and Peace, I'm not reading it. Okay. <laughs> I do want to eventually, and I'll probably make it a challenge, you know, offer you to read it with me kind of thing, but not this month, not this year. <laughs> I'm also not planning on putting myself on a book buying ban. If you decide to do it yourself, definitely encourage it, uh, reading your own physical TBR. You could, but I don't mind the amount of books that I have. I know said out loud that I have 400 on red books is a ton, but I just built this library and there's a ton of empty spot and I tend to buy most of my books used. So I'm not unhappy with the amount that I spend and I also use my library a ton. Uh, you're going to get my stats very soon and about 40% of the books that I've read this year were from the library. So I'm not too afraid. Plus I read 135 books in 2022 which is insane. It's my best reading year by like 20 something books. So, you know, but still, so I'm not going to prevent myself from buying new books, but this is my first question. Should I put the new books in here or not? I do have orange left if I want to add them in there just for fun. Uh, otherwise I can just focus on the backlog, which that would make sense too. I I'm leaving it up to you. It's you, you choose because it could, I'm okay with both, to be honest. I probably should focus on these ones, you know. I'm still going to have the rest of the month to read whatever I want. So it's just going to be that one week kind of thing. But 
you choose, you choose. So like I said, every month I will be reading from the jar, uh, picking one up, reading the first chapter and then deciding if I finish it or not. If I don't, I pick the next one, keep going that way. My only exception, which is question number two, Usually during the month of February, I do a different challenge called One Week, One Shelf. So I pick a number in a jar and it's the shelf that I have to read books from for that whole week. And I wanted to let you choose, do you want me to just do this challenge the whole month or do you want me to do One Week, One Shelf? They're kind of similar since I'm reading, you know, my physical TBR, but I wanted to give you the option to choose. So do we do something new for the whole month or do we go back to our classic? I feel like I'm forgetting something, but yes. This is at 400 bucks. The number should be lower from the jar unless we add the new ones, then it will definitely not be lower. <laughs> but I'm really hoping to get to books that I've kind of forgotten on my shelf. Some of them it will be like, ugh, there's a reason I didn't read them yet. Some of them you just need the little kick in the butt, right? To finally get around to reading them. Like I really want to, I just haven't. So like I said in the intro, this is definitely going to be my most stressful reading challenge ever because I have no idea what I'm gonna be reading literally every month. I'm not really a mood reader, so it shouldn't be too difficult, but there's a reason I'm letting myself put one back every month, just in case. But we need to, you know, read our books. You can do this, Emily, 400 bucks. We can reduce that a little bit. Ooh, that's what I forgot. Um, some of these, books that are on right on my shelf were part of series. So what I did is that if I hadn't started a series, I only put book one, so it would be fair. And then if I had started it, I would put the next one in here. There's only, I think two exceptions that I have like book two on my shelf and I don't have book one physically, I have the ebook. So if I pick book two, I will read the ebook. And I think that's it. Or I could force myself to read the first two so I can read one physical one. We'll think about it. I don't think it's really gonna happen. There's only two in here, so. <laughs> We, we might be fine. And now I'm pretty sure this is it. So I hope you're excited. Feel free to join me. You can do the same. We can torture each other together. We can torture ourselves together. Either way, we can read our physical TBR. We can do that. Come on. I mean, some books have been on here for like six plus years. It needs to happen. So yes, this is the big challenge for 2023. I hope you're excited. Thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section the answers to my two questions. I want to know, should we do one week, one shelf or read it or unhaul it for the month of February? And should I include the books that I haul in here or do we focus on the backlog? I hope you're ready. Thumbs up, subscribe because you definitely don't want to miss uh, me being tortured every month. And I will be putting more videos on the screen that I recommend you check out. And I will see you in an upcoming video very soon. Bye.